Hello, my name is Georgina Dimova and I'm computer science teacher in a primary school Strasho Pinjur in Negotino. It is a small town in the center of uh, Macedonia. I've been teaching for over 20 years in the same school. My school is the oldest school in my town with long tradition of educating children from ninth to eighth grade. Uh, how everything started with the pandemic, back in the beginning of 2020, we started to hear about the virus that was spreading from China, but we thought, you know, China is so far away from us. And in the middle of March, the first cases started to show up in Macedonia. And one day, just our government in the middle of the day decided to shut down the schools for two weeks. So um, we had to call the schools and to tell the students that, that they will have to go home. So we said, okay, we will rest for two weeks and then we will continue but the schools remained closed until the end of the school year and they didn't open the next school year. At the beginning, we didn't know what to do. We really thought that this will, this will last um, shortly, but after two weeks, we realized that our holiday will last longer. So I started to think how to organize myself, how to organize the students, and I started to send them lessons uh, so they can learn from home, just to uh, activate them a little bit, not to just sit at home and watch TV or play computer games. Then we um, started to organize ourselves in the school. We are very proud that we managed to organize ourselves without help of anyone. We used the school website as a medium to reach our students. We posted there all the materials that students needed to learn from, the homeworks and all other assignments. When the Ministry of Education informed the school that they should continue teaching in the new circumstances, we were, we were already doing it. It was hard, but you know, a teacher never gives up, gives up and he will find a way to teach the students. The, those three months until the end of the school year, we um, actually didn't have classes face to face. We didn't use any online tool for um, distant learning. So the school year finished, finished in this way. We would, we would post uh, materials on the web page. The students were downloading them, learn, and then they will send us their homework. And that, how, that is how that uh, school year finished. The next school year started with a delay of one month because the Ministry of Education has developed a national platform for distance learning. I was one of the national trainers for that national platform. All the teachers were, were trained to work on it and the school year started online also. But it was hard. Uh, not all teachers could learn online. Uh, not, not all teachers could learn the tools quickly and they had to do it. In our schools, uh, we organized training every evening for two weeks before the school started. So we, every teacher would set up a class and we will all join as students so he can see how it is, um, how uh, the tool is working. We, uh, we used Microsoft Teams and so we will one, uh, teacher would be the teacher, the other will be students, so we could see how is from the side of the students and how is everything from the side of, side of the teacher. Um, that way we could see what can go wrong, how to resolve any technical issues, what tools can we use. Every teacher knew different online tools, so we started to share them among us. So one teacher used this for testing. The 
the other one this uses this for presentation. So every teacher uh, shared their own experience. So we all learned from each other. When we started teaching, we had new problems, something uh, you don't know you will have until you start teaching, mostly with the students. So they will shut down the uh, teacher's microphone and or they will kick the kick out the teacher from the class. So we started to learn how to protect our classes. And then we had problems with students technology and students lack of knowledge to work with distant learning tools. Not only the teachers, also the students were not ready. They really uh, are on, on the computers all the time, but they, mo they mostly have um, work, uh, um, they play games or they're on Instagram, on Facebook, or I don't know what all they're using, but um, when it comes to some serious tools, they don't know. The school um, mostly repaired students' computers if they had problems with the technology so they can use the online tools. And we had some number of students who could not afford to buy computers. So our school gave the school computers to them uh, so they could use them until the end of the school year we managed to have over 98% students connected online. For the other students, we gave them printed materials and allowed them to study from the school. The pandemic showed that teachers are the most adaptable persons in the world. We organized ourselves on national level, shared materials, shared experience, there were webinars where teachers shared their best practices and tools for organizing, on, organizing online classes for formative assessment and tools for uh, just having fun with the student because during the pandemic students were isolated in their homes and the classes were their only so socialization. At the beginning of this school year, because this year we are uh, working from the school all together, students and um, teachers, we see uh, that uh, this past year and a half has left a great mark on the students and their social skills and their learning because everything changed. And um, the first two months, we just had to make sure that every student can adapt because they had to adapt again on the new new way of learning in the in the school